Hello everyone. This video will be about installing uh, some tools and compiling assembler on my new notebook. That is a brand new notebook. And uh, as you can see, I have KDA Neon Linux here, the new version, the latest 5.20 and uh, so far i did just the uh, setup of uh, kernel and uh, desktop environment config and i haven't installed any other package or or any other tools so this is uh, this video will be about how to build uh, the sj assembler from scratch and uh, this is to show the ZX Spectrum Next community how to build this assembler and uh, from the sources yourself. So let's go. Uh, the first thing I will do is to run the internet browser and uh, see where are the where is the software? So let's go to the next one. And there's the wiki page, which has a lot of information about uh, development tools and seminars. And I will go for assemblers. And here is the SA SJ ASM ASM plus. I can't I can't pronounce it in English, sorry. <laughs> so uh this is the GitHub page of the project and uh, now I need it to clone locally. So I will go in our browser and I want to create here a new folder for ZX Spectrum, specifically for ZX Spectrum Next. And I will clone the repository by using this uh, HTTP link. And now if I do git clone, it will fail because I don't have git installed yet. So I will install git. Uh, this video will be will be going through all the steps in real time so it may be <clears throat> actually quite long I, I'm not sure how long it will take me to install everything and configure everything it shouldn't be like hours but uh, it may be like half an hour or something so you may want to speed up the video if you don't want to spend so much time and so let's see where is the git package. Uh, I mean the main one. Let's go. Yeah, that is probably fine. Okay, I think I will leave the aptitude open so I can install other packages quickly as I will be installing a lot of packages and now the git clone did work now I have the sources of the assembler on my local machine so far so good what's next uh, next uh, usually if you have the machine prepared to build C++ sources, you just do make 
and you are done but as you can see I don't have even make here so we will check what what the install says Yeah, so the install does assume you already have all the common build tools and doesn't name particular packages. So let's let's uh, go by usual suspects and that's the build essentials package in common Ubuntu and Debian systems. And uh, the make will be missing for sure. And no, it will be installed by the build essentials. So this will this will install a lot of common tools, including the GCC compiler, as you can see, and the GN will make, and that 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 will be handy for building the assembler. Okay, so we have now some packages installed. Let's try make again. And there we go. The assembler is built. So let's see what's what's the warning about because I haven't seen it before okay so this is probably some new change I haven't seen this one on the older GCC uh, yeah so uh, that's the build part now uh, you are expected to do the make install as root to install it system wide but I actually don't want to do that because I'm, I'm usually using the local prefix like, like this part mm. oh, local bin so I will do I think I have it somewhere in comments in the make file yeah I will install it like this changing the environment uh, environment variable prefix before doing the installation process and now when I do uh, assemble pass command not found yeah so why yeah because it did end as being folder in my local directory that's that's a bug in the make file of the assembler so let's let's fix it manually for the moment Okay, so doing these videos will help me to also find new bugs. That's nice. And let's do the install procedure one more time. This time it should land to the folder, not not as file bin. Now let's see what is happening there. Bin share and inside the bin there's the assembler finally 
So now if I will do this, command not found. Uh, okay, I'm not sure what is going on. Yeah, this works. So my so my new installation of Linux doesn't run commands from local bin yet. I think it's because the uh, the folder did not exist before. So let's let's restart the bash shell using the the sub window inside the Dolphin file manager. So I have at the upper screen the files, and at the bottom I can do the command line stuff. So let's try one more time. No, doesn't work. Yeah, I think I will do. I will try to run brand new console like this and see if it's here. No, it's not here. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see how I can enable running of local binaries in Linux. So let's see what shell am I using. Uh, no, I'm not using bash. I, I mean, I'm probably using bash, but that's not the issue. And yeah. Yeah, so looks I have to fix it manually. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this in the fire browser. Yeah, show me the dot files. Yeah. I'm still getting used to the touchpad, so I'm going all over the place and show hidden files, please. And now I want bash rc. There's no bash rc yet. Right? Yes. Okay, so let's do it like this. No, that's, that's actually not what I did want to enter there. It did expand the variable, so it would set these paths as a fixed thing, and I don't want that. I want to just 
I want to just do this. Okay, so that's the bash RC file updated. Now let's restart all all shells to see if I can finally run. No, I can. Do I have to log out to see this change? Okay, that's that's strange, but I will investigate this later and let's get back to building SJ assembler. So now I have working assembler on my machine, at least when I set up the path. But uh, that's not all I want to make sure that it does pass out of the test suite so if I do make tests what happens it should technically fail on the missing source part because I didn't yeah I didn't yet uh, initialize the sub modules and there's unit test plus plus to be to be downloaded. Okay, so let's go here. Git some module init git some module update. So now I'm cloning uh, the sub sub project of the unit test plus plus sources into my local machine, and they are now here. So now when I do make tests, it will probably finish the compilation correctly and run the test. Maybe. Let's see what will be missing now. Wee. Okay, and um, that's all the tests passed. So, uh, that's uh, the assembler running now. What's next? Uh, I usually prefer to actually develop the assembler myself and fix any bugs. And for that, uh, I'm usually using the uh, k-develop environment. So let's install that. Now oh, it will take out of c -Lang. Eight. and few libraries etc so let's do it now
Okay, the okay, develop is installed. Let's try it out. Open project. Yeah, and as you can see, there's no plugin yet for the CMake. Uh, so let's see where are the plugins. Okay. Plugin. Uh, but this seems to be available and maybe even installed, so I'm not sure what's going on. Let's uh, let's try to open it one more time. Right, it is. And and that didn't help. So that's me and my friend. So, as usual, let's see what is this about. Okay, so it looks like I don't have the CMake installed, which is probably true. So let's see. We make here it is. Yeah, it's not installed. Okay, so now we have CMake, and let's see here if I did change some files by accident by by doing these. Oh, I have this here. Okay, so that's that's obvious why why it didn't work. That should be in my root folder. So one time, yeah, there's no more change, and I also like to run git call a GUI client, and uh, there is yeah, it's not installed yet. So I will install also this one. Something else to install from here. Yeah, I. I don't think I want anything else yet. Maybe later. Let's go. Uh, as you can see, there are many other packages being installed. That's that will settle down after a while of using this system because most of the common packages will be installed. But uh, as this is fresh reinstall the operating system 
it doesn't have anything. Yeah. So here we are. This is the status. And okay, now well, it looks somewhat different from the older version. So I will probably take some time to get used to this, but yeah. Looks good. Oh, submodules are here. Nice. But I don't want that. Um, action. Action. Yeah. Okay. okay. So if I do fetch, I can refresh the sources and see any changes I will do in the part. Okay, now try again. Try again one more time to open the project in the ID. And that's fine. I should break it. Oh, it's annoying. Okay, so I will have to remove the remove the build folder because it, I can just open the project while it is there. Okay. The installation prefix will be the local bin. And the local is the prefix. Yeah. Oh no, I'm so clumsy. So that will be the installation prefix build type debug that's fine for the for the experiments and now I have now I had the configuration of the project finished let's close this and let's see if I can read the files Let's open some like this. And when I do some search for the version number, it is so let's try to build. Uh, Patch of the version inside the ID. Yeah, this now installed. So now when I run the SJ plus, it will show it's the version straight from the ID which I did build. Okay, so now I have working ID and I can work on the assembler. I did run all the tests. Uh, I will check if I can run them from the from the command line as I need to. Yeah, this all works. Nice. Except the version number, I guess. Yes, the version number is now incorrect for the test. Okay, that's fine. And uh, that's how you can get the working uh, assembler for the ZX Spectrum Next projects or for regular ZX Spectrum. And now let's uh, test it on some real Next project. So I will go back to the 
next meeting and we will, we will look out for some software like examples or something um, let's see I'm looking for something very specific for this for the static spectrum next test suite uh, which has the collection of various tests for hardware so I will clone it to my local system first and this is now the SJ assembler plus folder let's go here and I will clone the test here Okay, the test suit sources are cloned and now let's try to build it there is there is a build test shell script and do release shell script in this particular project which I'm familiar with so I know that this should build the test and all files did assemble now if I do the do release it will copy them to the release folder, the snapshot and yeah this should be fresh now right, freshly rebuilt from source uh, I mean mostly the snapshots where I can they, here they are so uh, Yeah, that's building the software for the ZX Spectrum Next. And uh, it would be nice to try if they work. But I don't have yet any emulator on this system. So that's like topic for the next video. Uh, I hope you get some, some helpful points from this video. And uh, that even I could struggle a bit on fresh new system and uh, I have to sometimes uh, install things I didn't expect and uh, let me know in the comments or at the ZX Spectrum Next Discord uh, if you have any questions or if you are running into more difficulties building the assembler yourself uh, but uh, yeah, I will also probably update these somewhat minimal instructions because as you can see you can run into some other problems than expected. Hey, okay, uh, so let's finish it here. Have a nice time. Do some nice ZX Spectrum Next software if you want to and uh, see you in next video probably. Bye.